Electro Trail Europe 2023. We are here at the BASF Verbund site in Ludwigshaven, and that's actually the biggest site in Europe. And if you look to the chemical industry, the starting material is typically oil, but then NAFTA, a certain fraction of oil. And that fraction needs to be cracked. And cracking is meaning you have to elevate it to temperatures up to about 1000 degrees even. And then these big molecules will fall apart into small fragments, which are fantastic building blocks to produce high performance products afterwards. Now, in that first step, it costs a lot of energy. That's now causing a lot of emissions. And the idea is to make that from a gas-fired uh, installation as it is today to actually an electrical heated furnace. And if you do it that way, you have basically zero emission in the process. At this site, they are actually building the first electrical furnace in the world. And they do it together with Linde and with Sebek. The idea is uh, that they want to test two configurations. One configuration is uh, normal heating, like electrical heating. The other type of heating is uh, basically radiation heating. And uh, they want to figure out in this demo setup what will be the best technology to really, in the end, scale up a factor of 10 still to the real commercial scale for the future. It was great to see because they started it, I think, uh, September last year. And now already you see effectively a plant. Uh, the idea is that this uh, plant will start up before the end of the year. 80 plus percent of all chemicals in the world are produced from ethylene and propylene. So if you make them green, the whole value chain behind built on ethylene and propylene will become green. And that is fantastic. So I think that therefore it is really a game changer and a necessary key technology to really get to net zero and a circular uh, chemical industry in Europe.